Hello again everyone, we're Meerkat here, welcome to episode 4 of our beginner series on making Pong in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, where we left off last time is we were able to change the direction of the ball by using the velocity, so if we're moving up, we can move, make the ball go more upwards and likewise down. I've made a couple of changes off camera, one is I've just removed the wall, and the other one is if we go into the paddle, You'll see I've actually removed uh, not the paddles, sorry, the ball. You can see I've gone into the ball. I've removed all of the debugging that we had before. So if I just push play, you can see there's no more lines. It will just bounce. I'm going to do a couple of things today. We're going to do it so we can store the direction of the velocity of our of our paddle, so that we can. Stay still and still alter the direction, just adding another element of skill into the game. And we're also going to have an opponent, so this is no longer going to be just a wall. We are going to have something there to actually play against. Uh, so we'll start off with the paddle. So if we go into our player paddle, you'll see that I've already created a couple of variables. We've got one which is stored energy, which is a boolean, which is a true or false. And we have a velocity to store. Uh, which in this case will be a float, so because it's not going to be an integer only, it's going to be one float, which is one aspect of the velocity. We're going to want to edit these using a button, so we're going to need to go to the project settings, and in the engine subheading on the left-hand side, under input, we can add an action mapper using a plus button. We're going to call it store velocity, and you can either click none, and search for it, so in our case you're going to use the spacebar, or you can also just click the button next to the drop down list and press the key itself. So now we've got that, we need something to actually control the control. Um, so for that we need the player controller. Control and shift opens a content browser and open up your Pong controller. Right click, type in store velocity, or wherever it is you named your mapping up there and under press we need this is where we need to get the pawn and we need to make sure so control D to duplicate we need to cast off and make sure it is a paddle so player paddle drag off and now that gives us access to all of the variables of that player paddle so if you drag off the player paddle and go set stored or set velocity to store and afterwards you can double click on any of these lines as a reroute node and you can click, uh, click and drag set store energy to true just lean up a bit uh, the velocity that we're going to use is the velocity here so what we can do is we can grab these three bits control c Put them down there and we can drag from the player paddle to both of these and add it in there. File, save, and we'll add a, a quick print string just to show that it's stored. File, save. So now we need to use this energy. So if you go to the ball where all our collision script is stored and under the player paddle, we want to drag all of this out bit further give it some space and we want if it's not stored to go here and if it is stored to use the stored so we want to grab off the player paddle and want get stored energy now we can either do this one or two ways you can use a branch and then if it's true do this or if it's false do another branch but they're the exact same things but as we only want to change one variable we're going to use a select node so select Bring that down there, and if it's not stored, we want to use that, and if it is stored, let's try again, get velocity to store, we want it to show her to use that one. We also then want to set stored to four. Compile, save. So now we have a ball. Let's 
make sure it's going this way. And we store, and you can see it goes a lot more steeper, even though the velocity wasn't actually moving ourselves. Perfect. Now, just for a little bit of visual, uh, a bit of, a bit to sh and now, for, just for a bit of visual feedback, what we're going to do is we're going to get the paddle and in a controller even, we're going to grab off of this, we're going to go cube, and right down the bottom, we'll have our cube, get cube, and we want to set material and we're just going to grab a basic asset. And then on the collision, we can grab off there to make a reboot node. And we can do set material and it's a cube. And we're going to change it just to basic shape, which is the default. So now if you compile and save and play, you can see it stores goes orange. When it's used, it goes white. Perfect. So now we need to make an enemy. Because as you saw, it's going to be a very quick game. So control and shift, open up your content drawer. We're going to make a child blueprint of our player paddle. So if you right click, go child blueprint. And we'll call this enemy paddle. And go to the event graph. You'll see it has all the script from the parent here, but we won't need that. So if you double press delete on that. And from here, we're going to do grab most of the script from here. Copy and paste it into here. And yeah, it's already clamped. So what we're going to need to do is we need to find a way for the pedal to see where the ball is. So we're going to need to go over here and go get actor of class and the ball, make it a little bit neater. And we'll also connect this up so it's always going to go here regardless of where the branch finishes. We want to get actor location and split because we're only interested in the x axis, which is the red arrow. And we want the get actor location for ourselves. And again, only interested in the X. So we track the X of the ball from the paddle, which will give a positive or negative value. If it's greater than zero, again, we want to create a select node because we only want to change one thing. We're going to add movement inputs. In the x-axis if it's greater than zero uh, minus one and false will be one you might have to swap these swap these around depending on what orientation you have here but if I push play I didn't add them in so if I add the paddle here let's rotate them around okay so if we push play you can see the AI moves where the ball is and if I move and press space, you can see I change orange. And I'm going to just alter the direction. And hopefully, store past the AI. But you can make this a slightly easier one, making this 0 0.7 or 0 0.5. And you can also add it so that it doesn't always follow it or. Uh, it only adds if it goes in one direction or things like that. But uh, that is where we're going to leave it now. So thank you very much, guys. Please like, subscribe, and join the Discord. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to give me a holler. Thank you very much.